Hey everyone, today is January 30th, 2024. So as you can see, I've titled this video the most important video that I've ever made. And we're coming up to a huge timeline right around the Chinese New Year. And I have lots of evidence to support the significance of this time frame. One thing that I really want to focus on is another COVID variant that I think is about to arrive and it would be called the Pi variant. So for those who are new to my channel, the above image is a snapshot of a video called iPet Goat 2 released in 2012. The video contains many layers of hidden symbolism and there have been hundreds of videos by others analyzing its hidden meanings. But one of its most fascinating aspects is being encoded with symbolism pertaining to future events. And so the past four to five years, I've broken through several parts of its coded symbolism and shown how it connected to events that have already happened. So some of these past events were the burning of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, several mass shootings, school and non-school related, and the recent invasion of Ukraine by Russia and the recent attack in Israel this past October in 2023. It even contains symbolism as it pertains to the most significant world health scare since the video released called COVID-19. Yet there is symbolism related to several events that have not yet happened. Of course, there can be misunderstandings, misinterpretations. I myself have been on a long journey of doing research, setting possible timelines for events to occur based on this video and other source material. But probably one of the most significant timelines I was able to foresee before it happened turned out to be Ukraine invaded by Russia. However, I had no clue that Russia would invade. Only the timeline was known. It's related to a scene in Pet Goat showing an image of war and a tiger. And so the invasion happened in the year of the tiger, in the month of the tiger, February 2022. So I said in the beginning that this is the most important video that I've made to date. I'm saying this because another timeline is approaching. And so the evidence I'm about to present shows an extreme probability that I am correct about this timeline. Understanding a timeline that is coming is one thing, but knowing the specifics is, of course, more difficult. From what I see, the approaching timeline could also be related to multiple events around the same time, and I will explain some of the possibilities. But there is one specific planned event that I must talk about, which connects to this upcoming timeline. It is about a new COVID variant that I see coming called Pi. Before I even explain the decode, I'd like to get straight to the point and say that my research has led me to an understanding that this new COVID variant called Pi, which doesn't officially exist yet, will be a variant that is said to attack the brain, arriving around February 9th, the Chinese New Year's Eve in 2024. So, right around the corner. So, yet this doesn't necessarily mean it will be officially announced on this date. Other key dates around this time seem also to be Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, and Lincoln's birthday on February 12th. I have concluded, if I'm correct, about a new Pi variant arriving around February 9th that a likely date set for a new pandemic to be announced may occur on March 19th or April 4th. So I want to say that I actually believe that it's part of my life's purpose to give this message about this coming timeline and variant. I say this because I look back on my life and you might say, that a sign was hidden in my past experiences that directly connects with this message. It was a very subtle sign to me with three important relationships that I made with others. So two of those relationships had their first names beginning with the letters P and I. 
while the other was named Pam, but she changed her name to Pi, pronounced as the Greek letter Pi, after we ended our close relationship. So Pi is also the 16th letter in the Greek alphabet. The letter P in our alphabet is also the 16th letter. And yet the letter P is the only letter that is malfunctioning on my laptop keyboard. So I'm no psychic, I'm no prophet by any means, but I did spend countless hours of research decoding this event in order to show proof of this being a planned event. It's also important to know that the ones who create these events are the ones who offer solutions in the name of peace and safety. So up top are three separate images all in the same scene from the I Pet Goat video. This character is named Draco. So he's connected to the boy through his head with a snake-like body. Draco actually means dragon or serpent. So Draco appears to be inside a TV screen with the information fed to the boy. So instead of the words appearing on the screen, they appear in the boy's eyes, reading war coverage, market's plunge, because he's connected and the information is read through his eyes. So what is war coverage? Ticker symbol that is shown on here as well. Market's plunge. These are the words that you would see on the mainstream news. So Draco is the serpent portraying mainstream news with its manipulation through propaganda. The serpent's manipulation tactics are most successful, of course, when man is in a fearful state. Now here's another image from the video. This girl is named Lily by the makers. She's holding an apple with a white rabbit. Then all of a sudden, the room gets dark. But they want you to focus on the things that are lit up, obviously. The rabbit is lit up. The exit sign is lit up. And Lily, about to drop the apple, is also lit up. And this is one reason why I'm looking at the Chinese New Year, because we're exiting the year of the rabbit. Right now, we are in the year of the rabbit. The year of the dragon begins February 10th. So... This could also refer to a blackout that's going to happen around this time. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but that's a possibility because this video is so multi-layered. As I said, February 10th is the year of the dragon, but it's actually called the year of the green wooden dragon will be its mascot. And what do we see from this image in I Pet Goat? We see a green dragon attacking the brain. Remember I said that I believed a new variant would occur around the Chinese New Year to attack the brain. And so the brain is split by a lightning bolt. What else is split in this video? The apple. As I said, this video is multi-layered. This apple could refer to an earthquake, the earth splitting. It could refer to something happening New York City, it's considered the Big Apple, but I also think it's referring to the brain splitting because in the scene we have Obama looking down at this apple and look what his name means. His name means lightning and the letter V like falls down his forehead, it's sweat dripping down his forehead showing you that something is splitting I reference a metaphor for splitting the brain, and that's what this is as well. The apple is also a metaphor for the planet Jupiter. You see the spot, just like Jupiter has the spot. And Jupiter's most common symbol is the thunderbolt, representing his role as the god of the sky. And so he has incredible power over the weather. Like Zeus in Greek mythology, Jupiter would use his lightning bolt to send down commands and punishments to Earth. So Zeus is the equivalent of Jupiter. He was the Greek god, but Jupiter was the Roman god. And so 
after the scene where the apple splits, it zooms out and it shows the lightning bolt right over Obama's head. But it's reversed image from here, Psalms 23. And it's in the form of a Z. So this represents Zeus. And you can see right here, this is right here. And that is the trident of Poseidon. So these are all gods, Greek gods who control the weather. Though some type of climate disaster around the Chinese New Year is also another possibility. So right here, Psalms 23, the Chinese New Year is hidden here. See how they write it funny? Because it's, like I said, it has multiple meanings, like the word Psalm as well as the number 23. But see, if you look at the very top, and you don't look at this bottom. You're only viewing the 2-9. What is 2-9? That is the Chinese New Year's Eve. Lightning splitting the 2 and the 3, or the 2 and the 9. Just like lightning here. See? We're entering into the year of the dragon. The dragon is attacking the brain. The year of the dragon is ending on 2-9. And therefore, you have the lightning splitting the 2 and the 9. But what's really interesting is February 3rd is also the Chinese New Year. Because they have two separate calendars. So there's the solar feng shui calendar. But when you hear about the Chinese New Year, they always talk about the lunar year because that's really the day that they celebrate it. But February 4th is, as it says here, a very important and magical day in the solar feng shui calendar. As regardless of when the lunar new year falls, this is the official day that the dragon makes his presence felt. So beyond February 10th, things start to become interesting as the dragon years are epitomized by activity and reaction. So... This is the Chinese New Year's Eve, 2-3, and the solar calendar. And 2-9 is the Chinese New Year's Eve on the lunar calendar. Now, if we look at the solar calendar, the Chinese solar calendar, the Chinese New Year's Eve, February 9th, is in the year of the dragon, the month of the tiger, and it's the day of the rabbit. Yeah, each day, each month, actually each hour as well, has a different zodiac animal assigned to it. So, dragon, tiger, rabbit, just as we see here, the three zodiacs and I pet goat. And you can make an argument that they actually show another one, because in the beginning, um, the puppeteer is wearing a ring, a dollar sign but it could be a symbol for the year of the snake. So all the COVID variants are named in order according to the Greek alphabet. We are currently dealing with the Juno variant, uh, which is a sub-variant of Omicron. Here's Omicron, and they go in order, and they would be calling the next variant Pi. So it's not something I just made up. It's how they name the COVID variants according to the Greek alphabet. Here's the uppercase and the lowercase pi. So we've actually had all these variants, but they skipped over the nu and the xi for some reason. But you probably haven't heard of most of these because they only talked about it a little bit in the news media. But the two that they really talked about were the Delta and Omicron. So right here, Draco has the symbol of Delta on his chin because it's a triangle. And he has the symbol of Omicron on his ear, the circle. And as I said, Draco means dragon. Draco is green. We are entering into the year of the green dragon as shown here. It shows the dragon attacking the brain. And Draco looks to be attacking this child's brain. He has his snake-like body inside the child's head. His head is split open. So right here, 
I put the image sideways because it's easier to see, but the body of Draco is showing a sign of Capricorn. So it's not an exact match to the Capricorn symbol on the right. But the video maker has already shown patterns throughout this video of hiding things in plain sight by presenting close similarities rather than exact matches. So COVID-19 was first publicly announced on December 31st, 2019, or New Year's Eve, which was in the sign of Capricorn. So the sick child is named Ludovic by Heliophant, and Heliophant is the maker of this video. But if you look at the last five letters of his name, it's actually an anagram for the word COVID. So yeah. C-O-V-I-D. So another thing that I notice, his eye, the eye of Draco, has this Greek symbol for X-I. So we already skipped this letter. So we never had a COVID variant called X-I. However, the president of China is named X-I, and this whole scene shows markets plunge, war coverage, so we may be looking at some type of conflict or war with China in the near future. So here's an article that was published by the New York Post just recently on January 17th. So it says, Chinese lab crafts mutant COVID-19 strain with a 100% kill rate in humanized mice. Surprisingly rapid death. So I've seen something about this before, but I didn't see other people relating it to COVID-19. But it did have to do with the coronavirus. And they actually created or discovered this in 2017. But yet, for some reason, they just reported the document this year in January 2024. Now here's the actual scientific paper that was published. And you can see it says can cause 100% mortality in human ACE2 transgenic mice, which are mice that have human genes in them, potentially attributed to late stage brain infection. So Heliophot, the maker of iPet Goat, only had the iPet Goat video on its YouTube channel for years until last year. So they uploaded the original video in 2012. They didn't ever upload any other videos, but for some reason, they took this video and uploaded it on June 26, 2023. And it was just basically a walk in the city of Montreal, Canada that seemed to have no meaning. So, however, this image right here was the image shown at the end of the video lasting around 20 seconds as they walked towards the building. The building says SOS, Labyrinth, with the number 16 on the building beside it. So, inside is just a maze for kids with props and psychedelic effects. But a lot of people are wondering why they focused on this at the end of the video where they try and give us some kind of message because SOS is also known as a call for help, right? And so I believe it has to do something with this. So this labyrinth actually resembles what a human brain might look like, the maze and stuff. And we see the number 16 in the building. And as I said, pi is the 16th letter of the alphabet, the Greek alphabet. So this could very well be a warning, an SOS warning to what is coming here, the next COVID variant. So another image from Pet Goat, the left image shows a goat in a concentration or quarantine camp. The number 666 is on his forehead. So the lettering says I pet goat and they have the two written like this, I pet goat two. But what is this? It's the pi symbol is hidden in the two here. And guess what February 9th, 2024 will be? It will be 606 weeks and six days 
with the end date included after the release date of this video. So it's another piece of evidence that I believe that Pi will arrive at this time. So since IPET GOAT 2 is a reference to the next 9-11, I find it interesting that the uppercase Pi symbol also resembles the twin towers that were destroyed in 9-11. And maybe there's also some type of connection with the twin Masonic pillars appearing in most of the Masonic lodges, if not all, I don't know, I've never been in one, but and also in Masonic art in buildings. Now I'm going to show you another piece of evidence. This is an image in Petco of Baron Samedi. I just put the uppercase pi here in the lowercase. So here we have Baron Samedi blowing the party favor with fireworks behind him. This would obviously represent a New Year's Eve event. If we look on his cheek, we see the lowercase pi symbol. So it's a similarity, not an exact match, as I said the makers of this video tend to do. However, we see the uppercase pi symbol hidden in his teeth from where the party favor is being blown. So that's even more evidence that the pi variant will arrive on New Year's Eve. I mean, the symbol is right in his teeth. The whole this whole section shows New Year's Eve. So in the same scene, they show the yin-yang, which can symbolize China. So this video is multi-layered, and COVID came out of China, which became public on New Year's Eve. Now it looks like this new Pi variant may very well arrive on the Chinese New Year's Eve. So here was a news article published on New Year's Eve 2019. One of the very first articles that came out of the mysterious illness in China, which turned out to be COVID. So this was the very first day that this was published online. So Baron Samedi also touches the tiger on the girl's jacket. And as I said, February 9th is also the eve of the month of the tiger, beginning the next day. But as I said before, it's already the month of the tiger in the Chinese solar feng shui calendar, which begins on February 4th. Now here's another huge connection that I found connecting the World Health Organization to the date February 9th. Because from the date it was founded to February 9th, Chinese New Year's Eve, is 27,701 days. That is equal to the 3,022nd prime from when the WHO was founded. And if you see my past videos, I've made numerous connections with the 322 connections to different events. 322 is the number of skull and bones, the secret society. Speaking of 322 connections, we have Dark Winter an exercise it was a biological attack simulation on the United States and from the day that that happened February 9th 2024 is 22 years 232 days and as I said in my previous videos the connection I always look for is one three and multiple twos in any order and we have that here and you can see the movie the life of Pi it shows the tiger in the boat. So, in the month of the tiger. Now, Baron Samedi is known for wearing a top hat. But when you think of a top hat, the most famous person that we know who wears a top hat is President Abraham Lincoln. As I said, Pi is the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. Yet, Lincoln was also the 16th U.S. president. And isn't this interesting? Again, I said the pie is hidden in his teeth, but on the back of the $5 bill, we have the Lincoln Memorial. And it's kind of similar to the teeth of Baron Samedi. Now there's another scene that shows five on Draco's jawline. And as I just said, Lincoln is on the $5 bill. So there's some type of connection with Lincoln here. And I think it might have to do 
with Lincoln's birthday in the year of the dragon. Because Draco the dragon has the five. And February 12th will be Lincoln's birthday. What will happen? I'm not sure, but this is another big watch date that might have significance. Also, because of the Hebrew calendar, it's 12-3. Remember I said I look at the Hebrew, our calendar, the Gregorian, and the Chinese calendar? And 12-3, as I talked about this number lots of times, because the L is the 12th letter and the C is the third letter. So we have 12-3 next to the split apple. And even February 9th, the Chinese New Year's Eve, it's 12.30 on the Chinese calendar. And this pyramid, which I, which I said is a symbol of Delta, but it's also the symbol of the $1 bill, and George Washington is on this bill. So his birthday is on 222. So I'll also be watching that date. Speaking of 12.3, we do see it here in Pet Goat when you look at the scene up close. So this is the tower that the old woman is trapped in. Below it is the one, two, three. And this is the woman trapped in the tower. And if you go back to 2020, the first COVID lockdown that was implemented happened in China on one twenty three. Hmm. And so I'm seeing that 212 is Lincoln's birthday, and it's 12-3 in the Hebrew calendar. So, does that mean another lockdown? Possibly. That would be really fast for a lockdown. I mean, if they're just talking about a new variant on February 9th, but who knows? Uh, anyways, regardless, I'm still looking at this date of importance. So now we are going to look at a possible date of when a new pandemic may be declared. So here's another scene in Petco. So the close-up of this beetle right here, you can see it looks like it has the number three on it. When you look at it here, you can't really tell it looks like a smudge, but that's why they show the close-up. So on March 11th, 3-11-2020, the World Health Organization declared a pandemic. And this could be multiple dates on the boy's face because if this represents the three, then we see three, one, one. The eyebrow is forming the one. And we also see the number nine written in his eye. The letter I actually happens to be the ninth letter as well. But if you just go straight down right here, you would get three, one, nine. If this nine here, it could be here as well. So 319 could be the second date for a pandemic. Now look at this. The movie Pi released in 1998. The date it premiered will be exactly 314 months to 319. And of course, Pi represents the number 3.14. And back on 2018, on 314, which we call Pi Day, once you know it, the professor of mathematics, Stephen Hawking, died on Pi Day. And if you take the date that he died to March 19th, it's 314 weeks with the end date included. So you have 314 weeks from Stephen Hawking dying on Pi Day, and you have 314 months from the date the movie Pi released. And this shows a 322 connection to Stephen Hawking's birth. So back in 2022, there was another pandemic simulation called Catastrophic Contagion. And that's 31 months and 4 days apart. Uh, to March 19th. So 314 again. However, it's with the dates reversed. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's looking at these dates and reversing them, putting the 319 and the 1023 over here. I just put it in parentheses 
so it's easier for me to understand but I've showed um, plenty of times the connections when reversing the dates so this catastrophic contagion happened in Brussels Belgium that was the same place that Bill Gates was actually hit in the face with a pie by some angry activist or something like that back in 1998. But I have 4-4 marked down because that will be 314 months after Gates was hit in the face with that pie. Now something else interesting, the purge election year. This is an image from Pet Goat, the classroom. We see the X's on the eyes. So this movie released in the year 2016 in an election year, right? But then the very next election year was 2020 and we had the COVID crisis. So now we're in the, the following election year after that, 2024. So the X and the I's, double X in Roman numerals actually equals 20. So that could refer to the 2020 election year. And also, X is the 24th letter. So it can have double meanings referring to the year 2024. And now, um, oops, I screwed up the slide. Super Bowl 58 is actually February 11th, not February 10th. But anyways, so here we have the Super Bowl trophy, and this is very similar to this lady's head in the arm. I always thought this was very strange. Why is she holding her palm up like that? Why does her head look like that in her arm? Well, I figured a lot of that out because this is related to the Super Bowl trophy. This is related to the La Palma volcano. La Palma actually means palm. Because this is multi-layered. This, is, this boy, I said, had the dates of the pandemic and the 319 dates. So it could be related to the pandemic nuclear explosion as well. But we see 58, Super Bowl 58, written in Roman numerals. Just like I said, they don't show exact matches. This is very similar looking because an I or an L can also look like an I. So this could also B technically an L. So that would be L V I I I, just like here, number 58, right above Lily's head. So I know they're planning something around the Super Bowl. I can't say for sure it's this year, but since we enter in what seems to be a very important timeline foretold in this video, um, it may very well be this year. So as I said, this could be a volcanic explosion because we have ash coming down, also a nuclear explosion. The circled image can also be a sinking aircraft carrier because obviously we have the threat of war. I don't have slides talking about Iran, but they do show the water lily in here and what looks like to be the Strait of Hormuz that I talked about in another video which um, is very close to Iran. It's a war scene. And speaking of the water lily, that is the, the national flower of Iran. And I don't have a slide here, but yeah, I was looking for something possibly to erupt further around Easter time. Uh, that's just an educated guess, though. So volcanic explosions can also cause tsunamis. So. And I see that the Super Bowl is played this year on the 42nd day of the year, and Mega Tsunami does equal 42. So that's just another possibility. Next, I want to talk about Kamala Harris to become the next U.S. president after the death of Joe Biden. And what I believe is they're going to say that Joe Biden died from this new pie variant. We see what... And Pet goat, the lotus blooming from the split apple, um, which can also represent Kamala Harris, as her name literally means lotus. So we've already had two presidents with the name Harris in their name, 
William Henry Harrison and his son, I think it was Benjamin Harrison. And he was born on February 9th, the date that I think this new Pi variant will arrive. William Henry Harrison equals 251. And it will be 251 years since William Henry Harrison's birth on February 9th, Chinese New Year's Eve. So he was the ninth president and the first to die in office. And so Biden would be the ninth president to die in office. Biden is actually 81 years old right now. Um, nine times nine. And I'm looking at the date that he died, and it's 4-4, and I got that date marked down as well. Because, like I said, that's 314 months after Gates was hit in the face with a pie. And I'm going to later come back to him because the day that he died has a big connection to the date that I think Biden may die. So back on October 18, 1989, Gerald Ford predicted that a woman would become president by becoming vice president than the president dying in office. He said this because this girl asked him the question, when do you think we would have a woman president? And he said this inside the Herbert Hoover Library. And guess what? The day that Herbert Hoover died is the exact same date that Kamala Harris was born. Now, I said before that this is multi-layered, and this also, I believe, represents Kamala Harris, even though it technically doesn't really look like her. But it represents the black teacher in the schoolroom in Florida during 9-11 with President Bush. But we do see the 322 in her hair. And I'm looking at this date of when I think that Kamala Harris will become president. September 26, 2024, right before the election. There is 96 days remaining in the year. And President Kamala Harris equals 96 in reduction, and President Harris in Jamatra reverse reduction also equals 96. We have this 6666 connection with the dates reversed to William Henry Harris and the ninth president. Remember I said that his birthday is the day that I believe Pi will arrive. And so the day that Kamala Harris will become president is the day that I believe Biden they will say passed away from Pi. And not only that, we have 6,666 days, dates reverse, from Gerald Ford, the man who said we would have a woman president when the president in office dies. Hmm. Four sixes related to the death of Gerald Ford and five sixes related to the death of William Henry Harrison the ninth president. And Biden, like I said, would be the ninth president to die in office. I said before that this is all multi-layered and it's had a lot to do with the Valentine's Day school shooting that happened in Florida. Uh, 17 were killed and 17 were injured. And you can see next to the 322 in her hair, oh, this was 223 days after Bush's birthday. But it's the letter Q, and it's written twice. And Q happens to be the 17th letter. And I also previously made a video talking about this time frame because it connected to Kamala Harris's birthday. As I said, I thought this was related to Kamala Harris a long time ago. And there was a Club Q shooting 3,022 weeks apart from Kamala Harris's birthday. Now, I'm also looking at 924 because that is 223 days after Valentine's Day. Again, multi-layered. And this could be the day that I believe when Kamala takes over presidential powers because Biden would be too sick to run in office. And we also have this 322 connection to the 25th Amendment being adopted. And the 25th Amendment is the amendment that would allow Kamala to become or have presidential powers if Biden is unfit to run an office. 
So right here in Pat Go, we see the ripped United States flag. However, they're only showing one star, and we know that Texas, its flag has one star, and they're known as the Lone Star State. And I actually talked about this last month, uh, December 2023, that I wondered if something would happen with Texas in 2024. And so it's very interesting that we're seeing the border crisis that's going on. Um, and I said that Texas abbreviated is TX. T is a 20th letter. X is the 24th letter. So for 2024. And as of yesterday, January 29th, it marked the beginning of the 2137th month from when Texas became a state since Bush is a Skull and Bones member and Skull and Bones is 322 and Bush's home state is Texas. So 2137 is the 322nd prime number. So I'm wondering if we'll see something more significant in this month that has the 322 connection to Texas. So as we exit the year of the rabbit into February, we will find out soon exactly what they are planning. That we must not give in to fear and allow our minds to be manipulated. In the time of a national or worldwide crisis, many follow the voice of the serpent out of fear. And like I said, that's what Draco is. He's the serpent. He's the the man and the television, feeding us the propaganda. A serpent's voice will speak through the mainstream news channels and the voices of the so-called experts and those who most may deem as trustworthy. The serpent will offer a solution to your problems as he did in 2020 and many other national crises in the past. So Heliophant, the makers of iPet Goat, has the sun's corona right in their title. The letter O is emphasized to represent a total solar eclipse in which only the corona is visible. So the first person to receive this in the U.S. happened to be on the exact midpoint between these two total solar eclipses that form an X over the U.S., the date was December 14th, 2020, so it was 1,211 days after this August 2017 total solar eclipse right here. And 1,211 days prior to this 2024 total solar eclipse that's coming up. So the midpoint of these two events, the total solar eclipses, which you can see the sun's corona, was supposed to be the beginning date in the U.S. for the so-called solution to the coronavirus. So earlier this month, healthcare experts talked about preparing for disease X as a hypothetical situation at the World Economic Forum. However, this term was actually coined in 2018. You can see from Wikipedia, Disease X is a placeholder name that was adopted by the World Health Organization in February 2018 on their short list of blueprint priority diseases to represent a hypothetical unknown pathogen that could cause a future epidemic. And what was 2020? It's XX in Roman numerals. And now, like I said, X, the 24th letter just like the purge, disease X. I think it's all related. The X that forms over the United States by the eclipses, the midpoint for the solution to the coronavirus. So that's all I got for this video. Please share it if you can. I don't even care if I get credit. Like I said, I believed it was part of my life's purpose to give this specific video, this message. And one, one of the things that I'm hoping this does is change the minds of some of the people out there from being skeptic of so-called conspiracies and realize, hey, wait a second. Uh, this guy showed me all this. He showed all this evidence before it actually happened. 
this isn't some type of random event you know maybe it will change some people um some people's thought patterns and also yeah a, a warning to get prepared as well no psychic i'm no prophet i can't guarantee that i'm right about this uh, obviously if nothing happens and i was wrong but i you know i got a hell of a lot of evidence here and i think people need to see it uh if i'm wrong so be it then but if i'm right then you know we're going to change the minds of a lot of skeptics out here if they see this information especially that i'm talking about a specific timeline a specific event before it happens so they don't believe it's random and more people will wake up to what's going on and if i'm right this video very may well get taken down none of my other videos were taken down but that's because this is bigger this is something big so anyways i will talk to you guys next time and take care